Oh no, it has been a while. Uh, yeah, as you can see, progress has been made. A wall is purple. Another wall over there is purple. And <laughs> yeah, the window wall is now red as well. Uh, yeah, so that explains some of it. Um, yeah, the other walls aren't quite done yet. We have run into a few little issues that I didn't realise were behind all of that crappy old wallpaper. But hey, things are having to change just a little bit. But things are slowly going to happen in here. Now, I'm just going to jump straight into it because this one's probably going to be a bit of a, a quicker one because I don't really have much to talk about. And I do apologise if I yawn. For some reason, I just can't get rid of the yawns today. So, plus, it is warm. I've been out in the backyard and I've been attacking the jungle, which was the rockery. So I've been having a bit of a go at doing some gardening for a bit. So I'll just jump straight in and I'll start with what I can find. Uh, but I might as well just jump straight in with the NRL stuff, since it's the first page that seems to have loaded for me. By the way, everything I'm getting news-wise is coming straight off the BBC Sport website, just because it's the quickest one to load up on my, on my browsers. So for some weird reason, I can't find any of the other independent stuff just because i haven't got a clue why it won't load i've been having browser problems i've been using firefox chrome ie the lot none of it's really loading properly for anything else other than bbc or even to be honest youtube doesn't even load properly sometimes on any of them at the moment so i don't know what's going on with that well there's a lot of people using the systems i don't know but hey let's jump straight into it so from what I can see is there is a possibility of the NRL returning on the 28th of May. This is something I covered over in one of the previous videos, uh, which you may, may be able to find somewhere else in the systems. I don't know. But you'll be able to find it somewhere else. Probably in the card, in the description, or in the notifications at the side. You never know where it's all going to go. Now... So they're saying that it could possibly be started by the 28th of May, or it could be the first weekend in June. I'm not quite sure on that. But ever since it was suspended on the 23rd of March, they've been trying to clear up the reasons behind it and trying to get it started as quickly as possible. And it has been hailed as a community boost and a miracle for the community as well at large. So what does that mean for us on our side? We're probably going to be late June into July, or most likely going to be following along with how football seems to be going. And again, I apologise. So, because of the way that some facilities are, like here in Wigan or in Hull, we are multi-sport, multi use venues. So we do have the ability to have rugby, football, other other sports as well but that does come with the caveat of having to share it and having to abide by two sets of rules so let's just say for instance if we could follow how the NRL did and we got ours up early there is the possibility then that everyone to do with football is going to be looking at how we're going to do it their eyes will be on us or if we don't get ours in line quick enough and football beats us to it we're going to be watching how the football lads do it and see if they can keep it up and whether we can follow suit. So there's going to be a bit of chop and change and a little bit of talk between each other to get all this lot sorted. Now, as for on our side of it as well, now there is going on some talk about the possibility of promotion and relegation being scrapped or suspended for this season if our season ever does get started again. Now, some people would see that as a good thing because we didn't really get going. But to be honest, those who are trying to chase up from the championship and get in, and because of the mess that is the Toronto Wolf Pack at the moment, be a zip. We don't know how that one's going to work out, to be honest. I don't really know how I feel about if they were just to stay up by default or on merit. Just because they were there when this crisis happened. To some they haven't earned their ability to stay up. Because they haven't got any points. But they did get a win in the cup. But it's offset. So hey. 
you never know. But then again, with the likes of like Lee or anyone else, <laughs> sorry, I know I'm kind of like scat brain right now, but I'm just doing this as a quick hot shot just because it's easier at the moment, just because I need to try to get some form of content out there for you and give my feedback on it and ask a few questions to you guys as well so that I can build up and do a bit by bit by bit one next time because I'm starting to work on a few ideas because the next one is probably going to be in multi chunks it's going to be little intersections between them so I'm going to try possibility of doing that if I can so I'll be able to give it a big a bigger production for you all, so it makes it a bit easier. And also, sorry, I cannot cut these yawns out because I don't have a portable zip zip to pause and start. I'm just doing this just on the fly. So for that, because then we've got Lee, who I think were possibly unbeaten in their run, and all of that. So that did it did just get cancelled out? Does that mean then that uh, they basically? So are they saying in effect that? Toronto deserve to be up there ahead of the likes of Lee or any other lads who are chasing up. So that's one of those things as well. And plus, to some people, I did read somewhere as well that people were basically saying that, well, if the likes of Toronto are going to be staying up and there's going to be no promotion or relegation, you might as well just hand Toronto the championship and just say they're the, they're the Super League champions because that's as much as it means. Because that, to some, is literally what that little switch, along with the million pound game as well, because that does mean that there's a lot of that. Along with some people are talking about the possibility of scrapping the promotion relegation altogether forever and putting it back to the, the franchise idea, which is more like how the NFL would be run. But no other franchise can get into the NFL unless there is a massive expansion at the moment. So it's all move it, move it, move it, rather than adding in extra teams. So there's going to be a lot of cross flow there. So that means then that the division between Super League and Championship and all below would get the void would be bigger. There'd be too much money in one and not enough money in the other. It's a bit like how the Premier League is at the moment in football because there's far too much money up there. And as as I know, I can see. Uh, championship teams are struggling. Look at the likes of Bolton. They were in Europe for a while, and now look at them. <laughs> They've gone bankrupt. What? Technically, technically twice. But well, that's here and there. That's really nothing to do with rugby. But then again, that yeah, flows into another thing. So I'm gonna like cut that bit about all of that and sort of off a rant. Where would you put? the magic weekend if you had a say or you were the commissioner where would you put it because there's a bit of talk about some people say that st james's doesn't quite fit for it because it seemed a bit flat with some people or it was a bit too voided or whatever some people didn't like things in liverpool some people didn't like it at the etihad so you can never please everyone but where would you put it Bearing in mind, it's got to be somewhere that's got the facilities. It's going to have to be in a major town or city that can handle it hotels-wise and travel-wise and facilities-wise. So for me, obviously, it's going to be probably Liverpool or Manchester. Just because it's easy to get to, I uh, know they've got the hotel capacities. Because they've hosted massive events. So Old Trafford's hosted like Champions Leagues and all sorts of other stuff. So obviously you can see that there is that ability in there. There's always going to be a lot of other stuff with it as well. Because you've got the shopping districts, your foodie districts. You've got your bars and your clubs and everything as well. So you're going to have that. Plus it does have a big sporting heritage. Now, yeah, obviously they did put it in Liverpool. Because Anfield had been expanded. And they were looking at adding extra strings to the bow as it were and bringing in extra revenue so that was a fun idea having things there also as well i might as well just put this as a tie-in thing where would you put grand finals as well 
Would you keep it down south? Would you put it like would you would you have any finals at Wembley? Or would you rather have all the finals and all the major massive games up north where most of the basing seems to be? So would you have it at Anfield? Would you have it at Old Trafford or the Etihad? Would you have it in Newcastle? Would you have it at Sunderland? Would you even take it over the border or like you know over one of the borders? Would you take it to Cardiff, for instance? Or would you take it to Murrayfield in Scotland? Or would you take one of the Scottish major state the other Scottish major stadiums? Would you take any of those? How about maybe going over to Ireland at Croke Park? Or the Aviva? Would you take it over there? Or is it one of those things of because London is our capital, we take these finals to London like every other final and every other major thing does. Would you take them down there and have them at the likes of Wembley or at Twickenham? Or would you take it to, let's say, Spurs New Ground, which I don't know the name of it, but I'm just going to call it New White Hart Lane. Would you take it to New White Hart Lane and put it in there and give them a feast? A feast of rugby. Would you give it to them? Would you put it at Arsenal? Or, you know, or would you put it in at Stamford Bridge? You know, would you put it at a famous ground or would you put it at a newer ground? Or would you expand it out or try, uh, let's say, kind of like how the Champions League goes with its rolling, its rolling basis of finals? Would you move it around each season so that a final is one time in Liverpool? Then it's over in Newcastle. Then it's probably up in Scotland. Then it's in Wales. Then possibly take it to France. Take it to Ireland, you know, take it anywhere where we have teams. Would you do that? That would be a money spinner, but that would also be a ball ache for some people as well. So there is also going to be that. So how that would flow, I don't know, but I will leave that up to you. So for you guys, as always, since this seems to be a natural way of concluding things. So as always, guys, smash that like button, smash it in the comments. If you're not subbed, Always sub up because it always helps us out. You know everything. So I'm going to say it from now. Peace.